Hey guys, we're just continuing straight on from the previous video. So, we now have developed the stiffness matrix for member 1. We now need to develop the stiffness matrix for member 2. But what you'll notice is that this is actually symmetrical. It's 12 meters there and 12 meters there, which means our 12 on L cubed, 6 on L squared, 4 on L and 2 on L are going to be identical for member 2. Okay, so the actual stiffness matrix will be the exact same. So there you go, I've already done it for you. I've just copied that matrix there and there. So for member one and member two, the only difference which is critical is gonna be the labeling of points. So I've already done that as well. So for this one, it's two, one, five, six, two, one, five, six, two, one, five, six, okay? You might be thinking at this stage, well, what's the point of finding, just rewriting the same matrix? The point is, is that we, when we now come and develop our stiffness matrix for the entire system, um, it's gonna, it would be very confusing to just use one matrix and have different points. You want to have them both spaced out here and come find your points independently. It makes it a lot cleaner. So we're now up to point four, developing a stiffness matrix for the whole system. So let's start that. As I always like to do, I like to get some perspective of what we're doing. So I always write out this formula here, Q known, Q unknown equals K11, K12, K21, K22, which is the partitioned matrix. This is D unknown and D known. So we're gonna come and see what rows and columns to fill in here to make solving our um, matrix for the entire system a bit simpler. So we come back and look at our problem. And the easiest way to think about it is looking at the displacements first. So D1 was the only one free to rotate. So obviously it's going to rotate and we don't know how much it's going to rotate at by this stage. Therefore, that's unknown. So this would be one. D known would be two, three, four, five, and six. And that's because they're all fixed. So we know that the known, the D knowns are zero.